suffering from cognitive dissonance. They are just ignorant. <laughs> will go down in the books of history. Parliament deleted the presidential age limit from the constitution. Yes, and the opponents of the bill are peacefully walking into parliament ready to set a record. <laughs> Unfortunately, those who tried to disrupt the proceedings were quickly shown the exit. The two former seminarian Samuel Dongoto has become the supplier of rosaries to his peers inside the house. Things had been moving on well until MPs discovered that security forces had occupied Parliament's house of God. They are strangers. They are strangers that access the places of worship. <laughs> These MPs were not going to allow soldiers to occupy the places of worship. Honorable Solomon. Were there really strangers in the chapel? It is true. There were some soldiers up there. But Madam Speaker, these people were praying. And I saw them in the mood of prayer, Madam Speaker. Is it in order for a honorable member to stand here and refuse people of God? The former seminarian cannot allow that. He takes away the microphone. The former seminarian cannot allow that. He takes away the microphone. <laughs> now this drama, you were really annoyed. This is blasphemy. Honorable Solomon from Kamuli has committed an act of blasphemy by saying the soldiers who had grenades, RPGs, that they were praying in the house of God. I am greatly offended. But what drove you to grab the microphone? For religious grounds, I decided to go and remove the microphone from Honorable Solomon. Unfortunately, it has sparked a long fight. <laughs> so the MPs confiscated the plate soldiers were using? And they were eating in the house of God? <laughs> Honorable Mbwate Kamwaka not take things lying down in the scaffold. The MPs grab the plates from the police and make a dash towards the chambers where they would be laid on table for evidence that their chapels were indeed disrespected. But police have not given up. He's watching. Why do you take the plates in our church? God is watching. Explain to my rosary. All these plates, cups, they are in our church, a Catholic church, where we are praying from. These soldiers, what do they want? <laughs> he is called Mbote Kamwa, meaning you cannot milk a dog. It will bite you. Mbote Kamwa is really ready for action. Are they still there? They are still there. They are still there. We are bringing these things because we wanted to bring them, to lay them on table. As evidence. But when I remember the camera, it seems this age limit bill has really annoyed you. You can see everything is demonic. Whatever we are doing to touch this constitution and men accept the years, it is evil. Evil. Whether we do it legally, but it is illegitimate. And God is watching. They are now acting like rogues. They are acting like thugs. You cannot have a member of parliament breaking plates in the lobby of parliament. That is a demonstration of how twisted their minds are. Hey, hey, Geno. Do not abuse them. Just advise. And we are told some of them are drinking, are smoking bang. So some of these actions demonstrate that. And parliament is going to ensure that we ensure the dis... Honorable Mbote Kama, about the age limit, it is game over. We are here trying to grieve for our country having raped our constitution. Okay, Honorable, you grieve and we see. Oh, Uganda, cry, my beloved country.
You want us to just cry? <laughs> Me, I have cried. But I don't know about others. Nastangin, so stonga, esten on kustulu, nyon stonyo. Sevesteni, akimasta, nyen, tistinti, abastantu, sivasa nyustu, for boost to de boston na, babu ne gustura, nagwastaga, one stansi, ostova asastaga, nastafe. Only that I do not understand that language, but seems even former MP, Honorable Kenry Chams, that a man is not happy. Fellow MPs, I don't know whether they were bewitched. <laughs> because this was a bad sandwich. <laughs> you may call it a bad sandwich, but MPs are already toasting to achieving seven years in parliament. A day later, music has taken center stage. <laughs> And after very tedious three days of chairing a stormy parliament, Honorable Rights Speaker Rebecca Kadaga had time to relax. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Agnes Nandu too. Point blank. <laughs>